Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. I'm out here with Antonio, the boatless angler himself. Not boatless today. Not today. No, not today. We're out here on the Niagara River. And what we're gonna do today, we're just gonna spend a little bit of time. We only got about an hour that we're gonna be out here today. And we're gonna be running the T-Turn Bait Rig. It's a two T-Turn Bait Rig. And we're gonna be running live bait. And uh, yes, people have been writing in. These are actually available as rigs already pre-rigged and ready to go. All you got to do is add your bait. Yep. And the beauty, as you know, of the T-turn bait rigs, it lets your, your minnows swim around freely uh, and attracting more hits. So all we're going to do, we, uh, we've got an anchor in and we're fishing this current area. We're in about 15 feet of water here. And we're just going to work this area with our bait, toss the line in, bounce it a little bit along the bottom bounce it along let it stop and hold let it move down a bit and cover a bit of ground and see if these live minnows will attract some uh, some hits we got a chance to get you never know you may get a musky but we're really looking for a trout or a walleye that's really what we want yep exactly uh mind you, you won't turn any perch away there's perch here this <laughs> time of year too yep. yeah i guess you never know what you're going to catch when you're using live bait so stay tuned folks hopefully uh we'll get in some fish and have a good time <laughs> We gave it about a half an hour, no hits. So what I'm gonna do now is we're, uh, we took the anchor off and what we're gonna do, we're gonna drift a little. So with the drifting, basically same technique. I'm just gonna put the line down there and I'm gonna keep it and just bounce it along the bottom. And the whole key is just to keep a, just a bit of a tight line as you're bouncing along the bottom here and let the, let the T-turn swing around, let your minnow swim around and do their thing and uh, we're going to cover a little more ground this way and hopefully get into uh, get into a fish or two and you know speaking of getting into a fish or two i would like to say i was talking to some friends of a friend the other day and uh, they had mentioned that they hadn't been out fishing lately and you know what folks if that's you get out there even if it's just for an hour or two dress for it if it's cold get out there enjoy some fresh air and get some fun have some fun fishing why not so and hopefully we're going to do that with this drift, we'll see if we can pick up a fish or two, see how this drift goes. There you go, folks. We got our first hookup on this little ultralight rod and reel. It feels pretty good. I have no idea what it is. Like I said earlier, you got the opportunity to catch a walleye, catch a trout, perch, but this is no perch, that's for sure. <laughs> feels like a decent fish. Nice little bite, too. We'll have to see which hook he took. If he took my, if he took my bottom bait or my top bait. Always interesting to see what uh, which hook they bite on. And like I say, well, he's peeling drag now. I'm running this six-pound Thunder Carbon line, so I got to be very careful. I don't want to break them off. I have no idea how big this fish is. And it was a good bite too. You're on too, Antonio. We got a double header going, folks. Come on back here, Antonio. Let's see what oh, you got. I just jumped. You're, you might have a trout. <laughs> we, we got a double going. <laughs> Fishing with live bait, you never know what's going to happen. Yours jumped, so it could be. Uh, oh, there's even musky out here too at this time of year. Could get into a musky. You never, never know. Mine was very dark colored. Was it dark? You might Very have a dark. you might have a brown trout or a bass. It's a bass. It's a bass. Oh, mine's a bass too. We got we got some bass going on here. <laughs> Double header smallie. Okay. Oh, too bad. I thought I had it. Might have had a trout. You need a net. Uh, I could use a net. I got eight six pound. What what pound test line you running? I got ten. Ten. Okay. Get him in here a little closer. Nice smallie. Okay. I'll tell you, a lot of fun in this light, light action rod. A lot of fun in the light action rod. There we go. There's a nice bass. Right there. And look at the black lips. They get these black lips on them in the winter. They, they, for some reason, in the cold weather, they get these black uh, black lips on them. 
Yours is nice, a little bit bigger. Yeah. Hey, nice double header. Well, <laughs> like bait fishing. Oh boy, okay, let's get him back in. The T turn rig, letting those minnows swim around freely, always works well, depending on what's around. But it's a great, great rig to use. We're gonna keep fishing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're, we're off to a great start. We got lots of minnows. If you get an opportunity, folks, live bait fishing, a lot of fun. You never know what you're gonna catch. You never know what you're gonna hook into. And it's a riot. Hey, okay? right, yeah, let's rig up. <laughs> let's rig up, okay. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Very, very well. Whereas with the spinning reel, it doesn't handle heavy line well at all. It comes off like a, a, a coil. So, uh, and the only other thing with bait casters, why you